Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rode Lavalier Go. Now, let's get the Lavalier Go unboxed. It basically just comes in this really nice small pouch so you can carry the Lavalier Go around and on the inside this is the Lavalier Go itself so it's really very small and compact pop shoe is already attached on top of it and then there's also the left clip so you can use this to clip it onto your clothes or jacket or wherever you can actually clip this on and that's about it for what's in the box it's very simple so just the left clip pop filter left mic and a pouch to carry everything around now for testing i have the rode video mic pro plus about five feet away from me and i'm just going to go through these phrases that harvard actually implemented or came up with like quite a while back to just test the microphone sound so let's go the small pup gnawed a hole in the sock the fish twisted and turned on the bent hook Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. The coat reared and threw the tall rider. It snowed, rained and hailed the same morning. Read verse out loud for pleasure. Now, on to the next mic. Okay, for the next test, we are going with the Pure Rode Wireless Go. So you can see I've clipped it to my collar jacket here. And the problem I've realized with the Wireless Go is that, as you can see, as soon as I let go, it starts to droop a little bit. And if you're walking around, it will definitely just drop off and then it gets a bit harder to pick up your voice. But anyway, let's get to the test. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was far short of perfect. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. The coat reared and threw the tall rider. It snowed, rained and hailed the same morning. Read verse out loud for pleasure. Now, for the last test, we're going with the Lavalier Go. So I've also pinned it to my collar here and I have it connected to the wireless go so essentially this will now act as the transmitter the small pup gnawed a hole in the sock the fish twisted and turned on the bent hook press the pants and sew a button on the vest the swan dive was far short of perfect the beauty of the view stunned the young boy two blue fish swam in the tank her purse was full of useless trash the coat reared and threw the tall rider it snowed green and hailed the same morning read verse out loud for pleasure now, I'm just going to go take a listen to all three of this and we'll come back in a bit. Overall, I do think I prefer the sound from the Lavalier Go plus the Wireless Go added together. And not just because it's a nicer, more expensive combo, but yeah, it's because as you can see, that is so light that it doesn't actually pull my collar down. Last time when I was only using the Wireless Go going around, to shows or doing interviews or just even talking to the camera it's actually very hard to hide this alone even though it does come with a very nice mic on it so whenever i clipped it to say even like this collar you can see it's so heavy that it just drags it down and the mic doesn't pick up my voice as much as i like it to so having the lavalier go and being able to just pin it like this and it becomes a little bit easier to hide I'm purposely wearing white so that you can actually see where I've pinned it but if I was wearing black, you'd probably not even be able to see where I've actually pinned the Lavalier Go. So yeah, I do think that this is one of the best combos that you can actually get on the market for not a very high price. The Lavalier Go itself costs 99 SGD and I think for the Wireless Go now, I will have to check the price but I think it goes for about 250 to 300 SGD at this point in time so it's really not that bad if you if you actually know that you're going to be doing a lot of run and gun and you need to be able to talk while using the camera and you know you're not going to be right in front of the camera because if you're going to be right in front of the camera that would be very useful for the video mic pro plus which i used to use also but i realized the cumbersome thing about that is 
So while you're filming with the lens facing front, you will have to turn the mic towards you so that you sound better. And when you turn it back towards you in like selfie mode, you have to turn the mic again like this to yourself. So you have to keep turning it and it's not the easiest thing to do. Anyways, that was my thoughts for the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, the Wireless Go by itself and the Rode Wireless Go paired with the Lavalier Plus along with a little bit of comparison and I hope it helps. Anyways, remember like and subscribe for more tech and gaming videos. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come up and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!